and welcome back to my channel. Rachel, uh, I do lots of Taylor Swift videos like vinyl unboxings, CD unboxings, those sort of things. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, it would be so cool if you could hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified every single time I post, make sure to also click that little bell icon. Anyway, today we're going to do a little bit of a different unboxing. Now this is an unofficial thing, I bought it with myself. Uh, so this is an unofficial thing, I bought it myself with my own money, uh, but it is the unofficial Taylor Swift crochet set. So basically, I saw this on HMV's website not too long ago, I saw it was for pre-order. I went into my local HMV today and they had it. Now this was $17.99 which is quite expensive. Uh, I'm not sure if it's sold in other places. I personally saw it in HMV but I'll give you all the details in case other places are selling it as well. So essentially it includes everything you need to make a crochet little Taylor Swift which I think is really really cool. Um, it looks really awesome. I've never crocheted before so I'm curious to see how easy it is. Uh, this video I'll either include the finished product in this video or I'll make a separate video kind of showing the process of how I make it. We'll decide later on but anyway um so what it includes is everything needed to make a taylor swift amigurumi doll and guitar i'm not sure amigurumi amigurumi okay i'm not sure how to pronounce that but that's what it says sorry um one thing about me is i'm absolutely dreadful at pronouncing things apparently so it includes five colors of yarn crochet hook yarn needle plastic safety eyes fiber fill stuffing and instruction book. So it includes everything you need in order to actually make it, obviously including like the pattern and stuff. And it, it makes a Taylor Swift during the surprise song set and it has the blue dress from the surprise song set. Now it looks really cool. Um, I'm definitely excited to see what's inside and how it looks. Um, so this is just the outside. The box is really cute as well. So I think $17.99 is quite expensive, but also it is like a full set and everything. It includes everything you need. Um, so I think that's quite cool. Swifties, it's time to get crafty. Taylor Swift is a Grammy willing, <laughs> Grammy willing, uh, Taylor Swift is a Grammy winning multi-platinum global icon and now with the unofficial Taylor Swift crochet kit you can turn Taylor into an adorable crochet doll. In this kit you will find all the materials and instructions needed to make your own amig someone's gonna have to tell me in the comments how to pronounce that word because honestly I, I cannot pronounce it. It looks like a lovely word but I just, I, no, no thoughts behind these eyes. Is that? No. Um, Taylor doll and her guitar. This mini Taylor is styled in one of her iconic concert outfits with a flowing blue skirt, her signature blonde hair and trusty guitar. The instruction booklet uh, explains all the crochet techniques needed to complete the projects so even fans who are new to crochet can enjoy it. The pattern contains step-by-step -step instructions and helpful how-to photos. So five colours of yarn, crochet hook, instruction book, yarn needle and safety eyes and then the fibre fill stuffing. Um, this edition is published in 2024 by Car Chartwell Books, um, an, imp an imprint of the Quarto group. Um, so yeah. Um, that is the details on it. If you're curious, I think it might be sold in other places as well. Uh, but yeah, I personally did find it in HMV, but I don't. It's not like a HMV branded one. So let's have an unbox. Let's see if we can just. I just got a little plastic thing on here. I think the packaging is really cool. Like, it would definitely be good for a present. I think. Um, oh, okay. So here we go. This is everything that's included. So you've got this book. Okay, this book is better quality. I thought it was just going to be like paper, but like the outside is kind of card. So it's actually quite a good quality book. Like surprisingly so. And then we've got the different color yarn. So we've got um, this like peachy one, which I imagine is like the skin color. This one is like a blonde. So I feel like this must be a hair. Um, br like dark brown here. That must be for like the... Um, bit of the guitar and that's from the main bit of guitar and then the blue there is for the dress and then you've got this hook here which must be a crochet hook i've never crocheted before then also the safety pin eyes and then this fiber filled um fiber fill stuffing as well which looks like that uh, so that's quite that's quite cool uh, but yeah, oh, is there anything else? No, let's just pack it in. But yeah, really cute. Oh, they're very handily packed. And it's definitely good that it comes all in a set that you don't have to buy like lots of separate colours for it. It has the colours that you need, which I think could be really good because one thing that scares me about crochet is like having a pattern and then not having any of the correct colour yarn and then trying to find the correct colour yarn and just not being able to find it. Um, it's obviously never been an issue for me because I've never crocheted before, but um, you never know. Um, this, could be the, this could be the first of many. We will see. Um, so yeah, that is what it includes. And let's have a look at this book, actually. 
So I'll just show you the yarn. So this is the light brown. I presume this is for the main kind of body of the guitar and this would be, this dark brown would be for the neck of the guitar. So obviously there's more in terms of the light brown compared to the dark brown because obviously that's not taking up a lot of, um, of the crochet itself. There's quite a lot of this peach colour because this will be the skin colour in it. Um, I do like how they're presented. They're really cool. Can I just like... Un Oh, oh no that made a noise we're not going to do that uh, and then we have quite a lot of the this one as well it's like a light kind of blondish um bit of yarn and then we have the blue so it's not completely accurate in terms of the blue for the surprise song it's it's um you know what that blue dress looks like but it still looks very very cute and it looks like it's going to make a cute kind of crochet little dress for taylor as well and this is also how you make the shoes so the shoes are also this blue as well um and then the safety eye thing. So these are the eyes. So um, that's what the eyes look like. They're just kind of like little like plastic things and you must put them through that white bit. I don't really know. And then you've got like a, a needle as well. Uh, then the crochet hook and this fiber fill stuffing, which I want to open. So I need to know what this feels like. You know, when you just see some kind of material and you, yeah, I need to know what that feels like actually. Oh, that's satisfying. It's like, you know at Halloween when you get like fake spider web, it's just like that. So say if you don't have any fake spider web for Halloween and you need some, fibre fill stuffing for your crochet doll will apparently do the job. Um, I must admit, I didn't know crochet dolls were filled with like stuffing. I did think they were all just like this yarn. I also didn't realise it was yarn. I thought it was wool. I don't know if there was a difference between yarn and wool. There might be. I don't know. Um, so anyway, on the front of the book, we've got unofficial tales of crochet with a picture of the doll. And on the back, it says quiff. On the back, it says Swifties, grab a crochet hook and learn how to make your own tiny tailor and her little guitar too. And it says Chartwell books there and then not for individual sale. Um, so I won't show you like all of the pattern in this, obviously, uh, but I'll show you like a little bit about what this kit is. So the table of contents is about this kit, abbreviations, tools and materials, stitches and techniques, Taylor Swift pattern and guitar pattern. So you've got about this kit, uh, it says how to read the instructions. Every line starts with round slash row number in bold and ends with the stitch count in parentheses. Instructions in square brackets must be repeated with a specified number of times before continuing with any remaining instructions of the round or row, if any. Uh, this kit contains all the materials and tools you'll need to make your own Taylor Swift um, thing so it's yarn and peach yarn blue yarn light yellow yarn light brown and dark brown a pair of eight millimeter plastic safety eyes and e slash four 3.5 millimeter crochet hook a yarn needle and stuffing the finished doll is about five and a half inches tall um, and then it's got the abbreviations with so back loop only chain or change double crochet double crochet two together double crochet increase invisible decrease round right side single crochet single crochet increase slip stitch stitches or stitches treble crochet treble crochet increase wrong side yarn over Oh my gosh. And then it tells you all about the materials. So it says about the yarn. Um, the pattern in this book was designed with worsted weight yarn. But if you want to make more dolls, you can use any yarn thickness. Um, if you use it throughout and choose a matching hook and eye size, your project will turn out just as fine, only smaller and bigger. Hook size and gauge. Uh, exact gauge, I presume. Gauge? Gorge? Exact gorge? Oh, maybe it's gorge. One thing about this video, we've learned, we've learned I cannot pronounce any words ever. I feel like it's gorge. Hook size and gorge. Exact gorge is not important for the um, doll as long as you work tight enough to create a fabric that doesn't gape visibly when stuffing the piece. To achieve this we'll need a hook that is smaller than usually recommended for the yarn weight. I like to use an E slash 4 3.5 millimeter hook for worsted yarn. Stuffing, I recommend a polyester fibre fill as easily available and makes resilient washable toys. The stuffing in this kit will be clumped down from the vacuum packing, so before anything else, open the packet and flip up the fibre fill by repeatedly pulling it apart. The smaller you shred it, the better. Now that is going to be a fun activity. I can do that easily. Um, and then stuff the doll firmly so it'll keep looking good for a long time. A pair of tweezers comes handy when you need to stuff narrow pieces, but you can simply use the end of your crochet hook to push small blobs of stuffing inside. Uh, plastic eyes, so it says about the instructions for these plastic eyes, uh, needle and pins and stitch markers. Um, yeah, cool. 
Cool, cool, cool. And then it says about the stitches and techniques. Honestly, you've got everything in here. It's clear that the person who has written this book and made this kick obviously knows a lot about yarn. Uh, they also have pictures there. I'm not going to show you like everything in here, uh, but like you can just see the little pictures there and it shows you actually how to do it, which I think is really, really handy for someone who has never done this before. Because genuinely, I have no idea how, how we're going to do this, but it is handy that they've got these like little patterns there with pictures next to it and it shows you exactly how to do it now it looks hard it looks like it's going to be very difficult but i believe we can do it aka i believe my mum is going to help me significantly with me with this if not do most of it um my mum is a very very crafty person she did the bnm like crystal painting thing that's something she's very good at it's something i'm very bad at i like to be good at but i just i don't have that talent to be fair, I think I could do the crystal painting. I'm quite good at like colouring books. I like a colouring book. I know it's a kid's thing, but I love colouring books, especially like, the ones for adults. They're so much fun. But yeah, that is the Taylor Swift, unofficial Taylor Swift crochet book. Now it's quite clear from this that the person who made this is a fan. That like for me personally, this is how I would view it. The fact that they've done the surprise song dress, because I think if you weren't a fan, you wouldn't know what the surprise song dress is necessarily. So I think that's pretty clever. I do like it. Interesting choice that they've done the blue surprise song dress. I probably would have thought they would have used the one from the film which is like the red one so I definitely think we've got a fan here and it also just seems like they know a lot about crochet so shout out to whoever did this they've not got like an author name in it um oh Katty sorry I don't want to mispronounce their name because um but yeah they um that is the person who, who did this so well done to them because this is honestly I'm pretty impressed with this it's a well it's it's a good kit obviously we'll, we'll see how easy it is to make and like if it's complex, if it actually looks as good as this. I don't think it will look as good as this, but I think it could be actually quite fun to make. So I'm definitely super excited to get along with this because it could be quite a little fun activity. So yeah, I got it from HMV, it was $17.99, stay tuned. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. That would be so cool. I do lots of Taylor Swift videos. I do lots of like looking through like the unofficial kind of Taylor Swift things because I find that super, super fun. So if you did like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you're coming back to the channel, you've been here before, thank you so much for watching again. That means the absolute world to me. Uh, it's really nice that you'd do that. But yeah, I hope you've liked this video. Um, if you crochet, let me know in the comments if crochet is something you enjoy. I imagine it is if you watch this video, uh, but maybe not. Uh, yeah, just let me know in the comments because I love reading them and, and talking to everyone. But yeah, hope you like this video and as always, have a great day.